let's get real. You don't have a lot of time to create graphics for your website. And unless you took a course or learned on your own, chances are you don't have the knowledge either. Hiring a graphic designer can be expensive, so your small business may not be able to afford it yet. I'm live from Momentum, and I'm here to teach you six simple steps to create a free web banner in Canva. So follow me. Let's get my nerd on. Step number one, create a free Canva account. Go into your browser and type in canva.com. Select get Canva free. It's gonna, sell, it's gonna give you a few options to create your free account. You can create it with a Google account, with a Facebook account, or with a simple email. Let's continue with a simple email. We created this specifically for this video. You're gonna input whatever you, you want to create your free Canva account with. You're gonna click on continue. Once you do that, it's gonna send a verification code to that email. So make sure you have access to this account. Get that code paste it into Canva. It's going to ask you to create a password. You will be able to log into your account. We're going to click on login from Canva. Continue with email. This is the email we created for the video. We're going to input the password. And this is your Canva homepage. From here, Step number two, let's search and select a template to edit for a free web banner. On this search bar, we're going to type in web banner. Canva is going to give us a few popular options, including some templates for banner landscape and banner portrait. We're going to select banner landscape for this example. Let's say we want to promote a sale. Let's select a template that already has to do with the sale because it will save us time when editing, this looks perfect to me. Let's select that template. Canva is gonna take us to the editing page for that template. Now that we're here, step number three is to edit the colors for this template. Let's say black is, is not our brand. Let's say it's mint. That's our background color. Oof, that's bright. We're gonna stick to it. And let's make this coral. Looks great, very summery. Let's make this white. I'm clicking on the element, clicking on this square and editing the color. You can select any of these colors already that Canva is giving you, or you can click here and select a new color or input a number code for the color. Once you've edited the colors, we can go ahead into step number four, which is adding your logo. Going to uploads here to the left, click on upload media. It's gonna take, a, take you to your device. Go ahead and pick whatever folder you saved your logo in. Double click it or click on it and click open and it will be uploaded into Canva. We've already done that, the logo is here. Now we're just gonna click on it and it will just paste it into the design now let's say we want to make that bigger or smaller you just click and drag on these corners and you can resize that very easily click and drag to move it around i want this in the corner right here and you could upload your own photos for products let's say that i've changed my mind i want to upload my own branded image for glasses for my promotion. I can actually click on that photo, keep it clicked, drag it into the template until it clicks into place. That's gonna become your background image. Now this text is in the middle. So I'm gonna show you the other editing tools in Canva. So this will be a step number five, which is, for example, you can edit the text, element sizes, we're making all this smaller. What I did was I selected a square area. I selected all the elements. I clicked and dragged them around and I resized them. That looks perfect to me. Now, Canva has other free tools included in the membership, like free stock photos and free elements like shapes, and others to so just do that and then select how you want to share this 